Welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Today I'll be showing you this uh, device I recently acquired. is a thermoelectric generator. It's one of the neatest gadget I ever acquired. Um, it actually works. Most of the thermoelectric generator does not work well. This one works well because of the way it dissipate um, the heat. There, remember thermoelectric uh, generator, you have the uh, cool end and the hot end. Uh, that temperature difference is what create a voltage difference and keeping it uh, high in voltage and therefore you get current running. And then um, the maximum for this device, for example, uh, is able to um, give you a, a constant of once you get heated and everything, a constant of about 5 watts. Now that may not sound a lot. Uh, in fact, the efficiency on this device is only around 15 to 20 percent. It is actually uh, quite accurate in terms of uh, the spec. Other you know, thermoelectric generator you know, overclaim their uh, specs. This one I think um, is big, but the uh, wattage that it claim is pretty accurate. And I was able to charge my smartphone, as you can see here. I can even charge my um, the lithium battery, as well as I can um, plug in the LED light that used USB. Uh, it will work as well. It even have a built-in, there's a USB right there, okay? But it even have a built-in um, circuit where you can hook it up to a um, another set of, as you can see here, Another set of USBs. I have four here. This is an inverter, uh, 12 to 24 volt inverter. I was able to hook that up directly and charge um, other devices using USB connector. So this thing works really well. Let me show you now how it, uh, how to set it up. First thing you want to do is to pour the water into this um, tube tank where the water is stored. Okay. Fill it all the way up. This act like a heat sink. So on the cool side for the um, electric generator, you need about 1.5 liter of water. Okay. Now this this water is not drinkable. However, the, you know the, the cool thing about this is I forgot to mention also that it can act as a um, as a hot water. Uh, generator as well so meanwhile you know you're heating this up and when it gets a little bit hot let's say get around 40 50 degrees Celsius just uh, there's a there's a faucet on this side I'm gonna, I'm gonna show let me turn it around a bit show you okay there we go I don't know you can see there on this side here um, you can drain that if you have a bucket you can drain that you can use the hot water to say uh, wash uh, your clothes uh, wash your dishes. I wouldn't drink from it, of course, because I'm not sure how clean this uh, tube is. Okay. However, for taking a shower, washing your body, uh, washing your dishes, dirty dishes, this is amazing. Okay. So it has a lot of application there as well. So you can have, you can also heat up hot water for cleaning. Right. <clears throat> All right. So that's how you do that. Now. I'm going to get started with um, turning on the... Now I bought this a little bit. I put, notice here I have a wood and nails to adjust my um, my butane or propane tank. So because of the nozzle here, it doesn't want to stay in the middle. So what I did was I put a piece of wood with two uh, uh, nails and this will redirect this... Uh, nozzle right about center okay that's like that so let's turn it on okay. there we go need to turn on the okay you don't want to turn it too high just enough. There, you can hear that, right? Try to keep it in center. 
There we go. Hear it running. Okay, so it started. Uh, the water is filled up. I'm going to bring it all the way to near the top. Okay. And I can feel the heat now. Now, the light, when it turns green, it means that the electrical power is uh, on. But right now, it's just warming up, heating up. So once you have a large temperature difference, then this thing will work really well. Okay, so I'm waiting for that green light. It usually takes about 10-15 minutes for it to get started. The first thing you might see, I'm going to show you, is the USB light. And then that will start turning on. Okay, and then of course what I want to do, actually I'm going to get a voltmeter. Give me a second here to measure the uh, voltage. I want to be able to measure the voltage. The USB voltage should be around, it's around 5 volt, whereas the, um, the voltage here is set to, I think, between 6 to 14 volt. Let me just check a minute. Okay, I think I got this backwards here. Positive should be on this side. You can see the light is working now. Okay, the green light. Okay, so the LED light, the USB, is working. And you can see here, my, uh, I don't know if you can see that, oops, Let's see. my inverter used to connect my, there we go, it's um, turning green once it has like three, four bars, my inverter will tell me that I'm ready to charge my other devices like my um, smartphone or uh, battery pack system. Now I notice here on this side, I don't know if you can see there, there is the battery, the 12 volt battery. I can also charge that as well. So you set uh, two bars now. Let me measure the, um, the voltage. Currently, it's 12.69. It's climbing up pretty fast. Um, it will sustain around, uh, I think, 14, 15 volt. And then uh, I will notice that I can hook up my uh, smartphone as well as my uh, charger, my um, lithium battery charger, and it will work. See, now it's uh, three bar. Okay, I'm going to wait till it goes all the way to 14, 15 volt. So far, it's 12.88. Uh, and in the meantime, while this is doing that, it's actually shorter than I thought. It's like less than five minutes. I'm surprised. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, now, meanwhile, I can actually... Let's say if I have coffee or soup, let's simulate this for a minute. I can uh, heat up my soup like that. Okay, so I can have oops, I can have my soup. There we go, like that. And I can right now. Where's my yeah? Right, my thermometer. I can check my temperature right now. Right now it's at um, let's see about. 17 degrees okay so let's say if I start uh, heating up my soup or my coffee it's a uh, cool water 16 17 degrees and in about I think about 15 20 minutes it'll go all the way up to 60 65 maybe even 70 degrees and then I can have my coffee and my warm soup I even call it hot soup because 70 degrees is pretty hot okay, as you can see light is on um, let's check the Look at that, three bar of green, indicating that it's ready for charging any devices now. Currently it's at, uh, let's see. Yep, around 14. Let's see, Four, 
15. Perfect. 15.1. So it's ready to go. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to charge my phone. So what I do is I take my inverter, plug in my USB like this, and charge my phone. Okay. So here we go. And there it goes, charging my phone. Now notice when it's charging my phone, the light is blinking because now I'm draining the battery, uh, the, the charging unit, the inverter. It's taking all the voltage and the current into this um, uh, phone. So now, right now it's 80%. Uh, percent. I'll see how much it takes to go to 1 or 2 percentage of charging. Okay, we'll leave it here for now. Alright, and then we'll keep monitoring it. Alright, so it's working really well. In the meantime, my water that I'm boiling for my coffee is now 27 degrees Celsius. Not bad. Okay, I noticed that it's charging my smartphone very slowly. Um, so I'm going to decide to just charge using my uh, uh, lithium battery pack system. So I'll let that triple charge this lithium battery. And then uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to use this lithium battery to charge my smartphone. Okay, because um, it's just doing a very poor job uh, charging the smartphone. I guess there's not enough current. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to charge my lithium battery pack and then use that to charge my smartphone. Okay, so you notice how it's set up. Uh, you have this module which has a 12 to 15 volt connects to my inverter which is a 12 volt inverter, 12 to 24 volt inverter and then it has a USB connector here. See that? There we go. And that goes into my battery pack uh, system. And it's charging that um, battery, lithium battery uh, system. And I can hook up also the light here. Let's see, let's bring it back. I had this before. Let's be careful when you're doing this. There we go. You have light. And meanwhile, it's charging my lithium battery system, you can see here. Okay, charging that as well, and warming up my uh, coffee or my soup. It's now at uh, 57 degrees Celsius after about maybe 10 minutes. It went from uh, I think 16, 17 degrees to 57, 58 degrees now. So in about 20 minutes, I'll have my warm uh, soup, hot soup actually and uh, hot coffee so everything in one compact uh, system you can warm up your food warm up your uh, drinks you can have heat you can have light you can charge your I would say smartphone but charge your a uh, smart battery lithium battery and then use that lithium battery to charge your smartphone and that's how this system works it's only a 5 watt system but because the heat is not wasted now, it can be used to uh, light LED lights and to charge the lithium battery. This is a really good device. In addition, this water is still warm, but if it reaches around 40, 50 degrees Celsius, I'll drain it, use it as a hot water to for like um, clean uh, dishes. Um, for uh, taking a shower, mixing with my cool water to make it warm water for shower and all that. So if you're in the wilderness, this is a godsend device. You got hot water to take or shower. You got soup, hot soup. You have coffee. You have light, and you have lithium battery charging, and you can charge that for your smartphone. Okay, so highly recommended. This is an amazing device. It's the only device I know that works properly because it has a proper heat sink. There's a lot of um, thermoelectric generator which claim to work. This one actually works and the reason for that is the way it's built is large. It uh, uh, dis dissipates the uh, heat. You, you remember the thermo heat generator has to have um, uh, one side being 
very hot and one side being very cool and that temperature difference will generate the voltage and the current that you need. It's not very efficient, the system, but if you measure efficiency based on usage, for example, heat is not wasted, it's used to heat, warm up food, drinks, uh, warm up the place, and then use the hot water to take a shower, uh, get light, like LED light, and to charge a lithium battery. This system is perfect. I think in some way it's better than solar uh, energy, okay, for at least compactness. Uh, solar energy, of course, can get much more wattage even for the size. For example, if you have a solar panel about this size, I can probably generate about uh, 10 to 20 uh, watts versus only 5, right? So solar energy is more efficient, but it's only used for uh, charging the smartphone and lithium batteries. And maybe uh, uh, light as well, LED lights. But what it cannot do, of course, is to warm up your food, your drinks, and your hot water for your shower so that's why this thing has an advantage okay so I'll do more of this uh, uh, experimental device I may eventually put candles um, charcoals to heat instead of using um, propane because propane in itself the tank what if you don't have it what would happen you still need some way to heat up the system so maybe in the future I'll use charcoal redirect the heat of the ch burnt charcoal into this uh, heat sink or um, candle um, light uh, some kind of heating elements right that's cheap to warm this uh, electric uh, thermoelectric generator okay